All right, let's talk about some more linear options for quilts because I see a lot of kind of matchstick quilting or straight line quilting done um, with a walking foot. And this is a nice alternative for when you want to do free motion, but get that same kind of effect as uh, using your walking foot. And it's great to do kind of um, if you want to do just a portion of your quilt with that kind of straight line effect, but you want to have um, another design in another area. So you can kind of go back and forth in just one area. All right, let's talk about an option that gives you a variant on uh, like a matchstick quilting look. Um, if you do not want to do uh, walking foot or if you're working on a long arm kind of straight back and forth lines which on a long arm can get pretty boring to be honest um, then this is a nice option because we're going to be working in kind of a wiggly line back and forth varying the lengths at which we kind of turn around and then when we kind of do a top to bottom pass we're going to move over and work our way back up and we're gonna just work across the entire space. I'm obviously only doing about eight inches here, but you could do this across the entire length of your quilt. And it would give you a, um, a nice linear look without having to go across the entire quilt over and over and over again. I've gone from top to bottom and, uh, through one kind of pass. I'm working in this weird kind of trapezoid shape. Now I have varied the point at which I turn around and the, the fewer turnarounds you have, like if these are, you know, three or four inches long, if you made each segment eight or 10 inches long, then this would have a more matched it quilting look. But if you have more turnaround points, then you're gonna get these kind of little bubble areas. So after you finish one pass, then you're gonna move over and begin your next pass going up. Um, and you're gonna work back in to meet these points. I'm obviously working all the way to the edge of this quilt, but if you were working on a wider area, you would have another kind of variation on this edge. So why don't I do that? I'll start stopping around here so that you can see me make another pass down. of this awkward shape that I'm working into, I'm going to stitch up to the corner and then I'm going to begin the down pass to work back into all of these. There's our little back and forth kind of capsule shapes. Now, these little spots between the kind of turnaround areas, you can make them as close or as wide apart as you like. When you get them close like this, you get this nice little, almost 
not pucker because the fabric isn't pucker, but you get this nice little kind of compression of the, the batting and it gives a nice texture to the look. Now, as I said, my segments were quite short because I was working in a small defined area, but if these were much longer, then this would have a very linear look. And it's just a really nice alternative to um, matchstick quilting. If you don't want to use your walking foot on a domestic machine or you're working on a long arm.